I'm back. Well, here's our little buddy who just had a coupler transplant, successful. So right after I got done with him, I went to work on one of his contemporary compatriots. This is another boxcar from the 70s. Um, one of the things, the first place, I really don't like this yellow color. I mean, even though it's a real color. But real boxcars are made out of steel, not plastic. The problem we have here with this one is this. It's a light color. Light colors will allow light to pass through. Seriously. This is an LED flash, okay, flashlight. You can see what goes on. The light is really shining through. Now, this might not be a big deal for a lot of folks, but myself, I have a set of Kato HO Unitrack that I run on my dining room table, and if I want to run my trains in the morning, uh, it's run with my wife's blessing, by the way. In fact, she was the one who suggested set them up on the table, so I have. That's neither here nor there. Um, what happens is, when the sun comes through, and I did an experiment with it this morning, I put this on the opposite side of the track from the trains with the sun shining through, lighting it up, and as the trains runs by, you could see the shadows of the trains going by. Okay, what to do? Really easy. We're going to remove the body from the bottom. Okay. And it's going to be a simple matter of painting the interior with some black acrylic paint. Now, I had done this previously, but what happened was I had the sound off on my microphone. And crazy, it was a silent film. And a silent movie, I should say. Uh, you can see the light coming through. You could, because you could see the, the decals, right? So, I'm going to start with a foam brush just for broad coverage. All right. And when I get this in here, I'm going to completely... Now, this brush is really, really wet because I just washed it out. So, let's do this again. This is just a simple... Um, um, acrylic paint purchased from Michaels, the Americana. Lamp black, it's a flat black, okay? Really easy to use. Now, I did notice one thing after the first time I blackened the inside of the car where the roof meets the walls, the uh, foam brush didn't really cover. So, I have an artist brush here also, just a little cheap flat artist brush to help me add more coverage of paint to the entire interior. Um, the problem I had was there was a little bit of light leaking through where the roof met the walls. Now you can see the, through the roof here you can see light coming through. All right, Now you cannot see light coming through the side. You can see light coming through the end panels a little bit. And we'll get that covered right up. And that will change. And this is just late day sunlight coming through the window here. And I'm also going to do the inside of the doors. I'll use the artist brush for that because the surface of that is small and I don't want to make a huge mess. I'm going to get, make sure I get this paint close to the edge of the foam brush so I can get down and press it where the side walls meet the roof so we have this completely covered. Now, if you're worried about, well, when the doors are open, I'm going to see black interior, no worries. After this black dries, seal it. Okay, use a, an acrylic 
flat sealer. You can use Krylon or whatever sealer you want to use. And you can then paint the interior of the boxcar yellow. Okay? And you will then be able to look into the boxcar and see a yellow interior which matches the outside paint. Or you can paint it a brown color which would more or less represent sort of a rusted steel on the interior. You could paint the interior whatever color you want. Uh, I have a, a caboose, a Walther's caboose kit that I'm going to put together for my New York Central steam locomotive. And uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to light the interior. Now it has an interior structure. It has, which has seats, it has a stove, everything for the crew of a steam locomotive. I'm going to cover this part here. First I'm going to start down with the end walls meet the roof and join the side. I'll make sure this sits all blackened in. I'm going to check it against the light coming through the window. That ah, looks pretty good right there. Now this little overhang, there's not a lot you can do about this little overhang unless you paint, repaint the entire outside. I'm not going to do that. The outside of this car will be weathered and that's about as far as that's going to go. Alright, now along these other little areas here on the interior I'm going to use my artist brush. I'm just going to load it up with some black paint and I'm going to get in here and we're just going to dab some paint and apply it along this little section where the door is and the end panels. The, the, the sponge brush does tend to lift paint away as you apply it. So you want to go over and make sure you're really, really getting these corners where they join where the upright walls on the ends or the sides meet the section of roof. Now the other little problem I had here was after I realized I made an entire little how to do without microphone, without sound, I went over and washed the interior out. Got all the paint off. So it's a little wet in there. I didn't thoroughly dry it because I wanted to get this done. Um, but now I'm going to be, the light shines through the, uh, the doors, the door panels. You can see light shining through the door panels. So I'm going to go ahead and darken these as well. I'm going to use the artist brush on the interior of the doors. Only because I'm going to get better coverage with the brush. Let me close it and do the rest of the door. Let me put a little more light on the subject here. Hang on. Woo! It's bright. Okay, I'm going to get this little ridge of the door frame and the interior of the door frame. I'm going to darken that. Get all this yellow covered over. I'm going to do the opposite door. You see the door? Dark on the inside. I'm going to do the opposite door now. Open it a little bit. Just a touch. Come on, open up. Little pigs, little pigs, open up. Not by the hair of my chinny chin boxcar. Alright, that's enough of that silliness. Come on, open up. All right, we're not going to have any cooperation here at all. So, I'm going to do the door frame, tops, sides, and then the door. And I'm going to go up and down to do this. There we go. Ignore the phone, they'll go away. It's on an answering machine. And that's it.
Oh, don't you hate robot calls? Anyway, we're going to go on here. Now, I'm going to allow this to dry. Now, this, this part here that hangs down below the level of the floor, I'm going to darken it in as well. Um, this very probably would get painted yellow after this dries. I'll seal the black. I'm just going to remove it from the very edge. I don't want it on the edge. Because this, this drop area of the wall here, of the walls of the boxcar, this drop area, will have light shine through as well, as will the bottom steps. So I'm going to darken these all in. I'm going to keep it off the edge. I'm just going to wipe it off the edge with my fingers. Fingers don't mind. These fingers get paint, blood. I'm a taxidermist. I get all kinds of crud on these fingers. All right, now this. Just get that cleared off there. I can make it a little neater later. After the paint dries, I can scrape that away. But I want this covered. I don't want any place that will allow light to shine through the yellow. Because this is supposed to be a steel box car. And steel does not allow light to show uh, to shine through. Okay? Now it's already starting to dry. You can see it's because it's the shininess is beginning to dull, especially over here. The light reflection is becoming less and less. Only where it's really, really wet are we having a, an issue with with shine. But that's okay. That's okay. That's neither here nor there. Now, something else to think about while the car is apart. The interior of these old cars actually has floorboards, as you can see. Okay, now they're black. So maybe painting the interior walls black is not such a bad thing. Um, if you wanted to add another color to the interior, then you could go ahead and, and you could paint these brown with brown acrylic and you could weather them. Okay. Uh, you could also, on boxcars that have doors that open, it's real neat to, to either make or purchase a load. They have boxcar loads, little boxes and things and, and uh, like uh, 55 gallon drums and whatnot. And you could load the interior of the boxcar at least the area of, of where you would see it from the doors, if the doors were to open. Um, now, these doors are tight, but a lot of older boxcars, the doors are very, 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 very loose, and they'll open as the train rattles around a track. Uh, so what you could do is you could put a little load in here that would be just at this section of the doors, a little past either end. This way, if the doors open, hey, look, it's carrying a full load. It's not really wasting fuel. Okay, now, before this dries, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble it, just because. Really simple matter. These things, they just, the bottoms just snap right back in. It's one, and then the other end. And there we are. There we have it, right? Oh, right there. Okay. You don't want to see the bottom below the ends here by the, by, the, uh, by the steps. Now, and I'll shut, I'll shut the uh, video light off. There is no light shining through the boxcar. The only place you're getting light shining through is the overhang of the roof. This is actually the outside of the car. This is a little overhang on the outside here. That's where light is shining through. But it's, it is not shining through the side of the boxcar doors. And again, this is, is an LED. This is a bright light. So we've got that in a very, very realistic look. Okay. When the doors dry, I'll be able to open them. I'm not going to do it now because the paint is a little damp, it'll smear. But at this point, 
our friendly canary yellow boxcar, Railbox, can rejoin his buddy with their Katie couplers. They can join up and they can start working on the railroad. And I think that's a great thing. They are not going, they are not going to come undone. The wheels can, the trucks can go any which way they want. These couplers will hold them securely. Okay? And now the problem of light penetration is done. You watch now. Brown plastic doesn't have that problem. But there are white boxcars, there are yellow boxcars that are made. Um, for various, um, I believe like the, the, the Swift Meat uh, boxcars are silver, but I believe light will show through them. And any, any cars you have that have a light body color, you can eliminate light shining through by simply painting the inside with black. And this is a flat black. It's not a big deal. Now, I noticed something happened as I was washing the, uh, washing the box car. I said I did want to weather it, but look what happened to it as it was being washed. Let me unhook this little fella here. We're getting close. I want you to see this. Where the roof joined the, joins the side, we had a little paint leak with, with water. So it actually has started to, uh, whether it's... And here is our little yellow rail box followed by his buddy, the Southern. They're working on the railroad. Those are two subjects for coupler transfers. And there's my modern diesel. I do have a modern, a couple of modern diesels. Steam is my favorite, but I do have a couple, and this is my favorite modern diesel. It's an Athern. Norfolk Southern SD70M-2. This was my first DCC model locomotive. So it holds a special place in my heart. And I just recently gave him an engineer and a fireman or a brakeman or whatever they call the other guy in there with him. But here are the subjects of our little videos here and real pleased with the way things worked out for them that is all